most boat covers on an outboard are similar to this. They have little levers here that you can pull up and that releases the hat latch on the front and releases it on the back here and then it should pop right off like it does. We want to expose the entire motor. Now I'm going to put this safely in my boat so I don't step on it or scratch it or something. Now we've exposed pretty much the entire motor. And what we're going to do next is we're going to spray the fogging oil into our carburetors. What that does is it coats the carburetor complete. It allows all the seals in that not to stay lubricated throughout the winter. And it also coats into our cylinder heads. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to spray directly into the carburetors, start the motor, and try to almost choke out the motor if we can. Now as we do this, I'm going to first have to take off my cover here. As you can see, my carburetors are not exposed. So I'm going to have to take the cover off first. So I'll show you how to do that. You only need this wrench like this, little socket, and you take it off. Be real careful not to drop those little screws or bolts that come loose here down into the motor. Oh, you have a dickens time getting it out of there. All right. All right, that does it. We got the last screw off, and we got the plate off. Now, what it's done is it exposed our carburetors here. So we can see right straight in there, and that's where we're going to spray the fogging oil. We're going to spray it so it's strong enough that it goes all the way into it, starts choking the motor out. So we're going to do this when the motor is running. But remember, before we start the motor, always, always make sure you've got the motor submerged in water in a tank or that you have these little muffs. And these little muffs go on the back of your motor, you turn your hose on, and it runs the water in there. You want to make absolutely sure water is going through your motor. Just a few minutes, just a few seconds actually, of running the motor dry, that pump could crack and break, and then you got real problems. Now you got an expensive bill, and you don't want to have it coming from what you did here. Okay, so we're going to set that up. Now, on my motor here, this right here, that's where the water comes into the motor to be able to be pumped through. Up at the top here, this little top piece right there. That piece pumps the water out, so you know you got water going through the motor when this little tickler shows you that the pump's working. So we're going to make sure that it gets on there just properly. Now where, how it goes on is on the front of the motor, and it's adjustable, but you're going to put up so the tension's there, and I'm going to put it way across there like that. So both sides, because there's one on each side, it kind of muffs it. That's why they call it like ear muffs. But it comes over the top like that. I'm going to turn the water on, making sure i got good water into the into the motor before I even attempt to start it. Okay. Okay, you can see we got the muffs going here. You want to make sure they're over that spot that they didn't move around too much and on both sides and they're up there on the motor. Now you're going to make sure you don't wear your best shoes because you're going to get them wet. Now we're going to try to start it. Once I start it, it's going to be a little loud in here so we may have to do a little voiceover on this. Well, I want a little, a little chair so I can get up on top of my motor and be able to shoot directly into the carburetors on that fog and oil. Okay, I'm going to start it up, but you watch what I do. I'm going to spray it in there, spray it in there, hopefully start smoking in here, which I apologize for. It may be a little hard to video. Here we go. <laughs> Making sure the pump pumps. You can kind of hear that, how that goes in there, starts to slow down a little bit. With this long stem, I get a chance to sneak it way right back in there and make sure I get it in there solid. There we go, that's a good sign. You're starting to get it in there so it's so deep it cuts, chokes it out. I'm going to do a little more. That's great. That's what you want. You want to be able to keep pumping that in there till you can kill the motor or almost kill it. Now you know it's all the way into your engine in the cabin. You can kind of see the smoke around me. This isn't a smoke effect. It's fogging oil. That's where it got its name. Okay, we're going to let the smoke clear here a little bit 
and I'll show you our next step. All right, now the next thing we do, after we've already ran that fogging oil through it, next thing I like to do is I like to take out my spark plugs. And what we need is just a little spark plug wrench. And just get in there and take your spark plugs out completely, because they're going to be all fouled. And we just ran all this uh, oil in there, and it's going to be fouled. But what we're going to do is not too worried about the spark plugs, because what I do is I pretty much want to change those darn near every year, uh, depending on how they look. All right, that's in there tight. And then sometimes it's hard to get to these plugs. That's why this has got a little universal wrench. If it's difficult on your boat uh, motor to do it, there's a lot of sockets that you can get. So if you don't already have it, it's pretty easy to come by. Okay, now we got the plugs out. And what we want to do now is I want to take that fogging oil, again with the long stem, I'm going to bring that right in there. Now I can push in there and I can feel where that piston is. So I know that the piston's going back. I know the piston's all the way back in there, so I'm going to start spraying, and I'm going to bring this up as I spray. So now I know it's getting coated. That's the top cylinder. Now this is the bottom cylinder, and that's all the way back. So I'm going to spray as much as I can, trying to keep the vertical, and I'm going to spray that in there back and forth. Now it's piston's all the way up. Now it's going back. So I know I'm really getting the solution all the way back in there on both cylinders all the way in. I really want those cylinders coated. I know I'll smoke a little bit when I start up in the spring, but I know it will start in the spring and I won't have a problem. So both cylinders are locked. Now one other thing I do, let me come on this side here for a second. One other thing I do is I put my fingers over this and now not only did I spray in there, I want to make sure it gets all coated. So I'm just going to touch my starter like this. But I'm holding my fingers over there because otherwise it shoots that all over, all over the motor. So now I know that motor cylinders are totally coated. Makes me feel good. Okay, when I'm done with that, I take these spark plugs again, and I'll put those back in, and uh, snug them back up. So now we know we got the carburetor coated. We know we got the cylinders coated here. Uh, we know the gas has been treated. So we're feeling pretty good about the motor. We're feeling pretty good that we did our thing on keeping that motor ready to start next spring. And it's surprising how well it starts, uh, even with all the fogging oil that's in there. When it starts up the first time, it usually gives you a lot of, of uh, usually gives you a lot of smoke to start out, but you know that it's coated, and you know in a few minutes it's, it's cleared out and it's running good. It doesn't even miss a lot or anything. So, yeah, don't be afraid to use that. And But it's kind of nice to start it at home before you take off and go to the lake for the first time in the spring. Your, all the people around you appreciate it without all that smoke going around them. Okay, the motor's pretty well on the top's pretty well complete. One thing else that I do, I take a silicone spray and I spray down all my wiring. Um, that just keeps the moisture out of the wiring. Just spray all along the top of the motor and the side of the motor. All the hoses and that that's on there for your fuel hoses, that doesn't hurt to be able to spray those down with a silicone type spray that resists the water and keeps the water away. That works out great and it just kind of a little extra protection. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how we're going to change the gear oil. That's a little more involved, but not hard, maybe just a little dirtier. So we'll be right back with that. Mm -hmm. 